Hello, boys and girls. I hope that all of you get the chance to see this. I'll post this on my YouTube page. Today I'm gonna to read you a book called Dan Dan the Taxi Man. Now, in this story, there are four types of instruments families that are used. There's strings, um, actually there are three. There are strings, there, are, there is percussion, and there is woodwinds. So can any of you tell me what the other instrument family is that is not used in this book? Brass, that's right, brass. So let's take a look at this book and please enjoy. After we do the book, we're gonna go over that crossword and we're also gonna go over the rhythm worksheet I had for you. Dan the Taxi Man, written by Eric Ode and illustrated by Kent Kulata. Here's Dan, beep beep, the Taxi Man. Going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan. Beep, beep, the taxi man. Stop. Here comes Maureen with her tambourine. Shake a shake a crash, shake a shake a crash. Maureen and tambourine rhyme, don't they? They sure do. And Here's our tambourine. Shake it, shake it, crash. Shake it, shake it, crash. Shake it, shake it, crash. By the way, the tambourine belongs to the percussion family. And here's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man, going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. And there's Maureen, too. You can see her in the cab. She's got her tambourine. Stop! Here comes Tyrone with a saxophone. squeeba de bee dee dee squeeba de dee doo And here's Maureen with her tambourine. Shake it, shake it, crash. Shake it, shake it, crash. And here's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. Going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan. Beep, beep, the taxi man. Now Tyrone's playing the saxophone and that belongs to the Woodwind family. And Mr. Jeffries has one for you today. Quentin, can you hand me that saxophone? Yeah. Make sure you use both hands, please. Here you go, Daddy. So here you go, kiddos. Let's see Mr. Jeffries. We'll play a couple of notes for you. This is the body of the saxophone. This is the bell. This is the neck. And this is the mouthpiece. And also, if you look right here underneath, there's a reed, and it is made of wood. That's why it's a woodwind. <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Thank you, Quentin. Stop! Here comes Star with her electric guitar. We was a wah, we was a wah. And here's Tyrone with a saxophone. Squeeba dee dee, squeeba dee doo. And here's Maureen with her tambourine. Shake a shake a crash, shake a shake a crash. And don't forget, here's Dan, beep beep, the taxi man, going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan, beep beep, the taxi man.
All right, kids, let's take a look here. Star has an electric guitar. Mr. Jeffries has electric guitars. However, he would have to move a whole bunch of stuff to get those out here. So he's just going to play an acoustic guitar. But we'll see if we can make a sound. Let's see. So, what instrument family do you think this belongs to? I think maybe the strings family? That's right. So, so far we've got an electric guitar, a saxophone, and we've got a tambourine. Thank you, Quentin. You're welcome. Stop. Here comes Claire with her rattly snare. Rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, rat a tat tat rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, rat rat-a-tat-tat. Here's Star with her electric guitar. Wee was a wah, wee was a wah. Here's Tyrone with a saxophone. Squeeba dee dee, squeeba dee doo. Here's Maureen with her tambourine. Shake a shake a crash, shake a shake a crash. And here's Dan. Beep, beep, the taxi man. Going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan. Beep, beep, the taxi man. So Claire has a rattly snare. Mr. Jeffries happens to have a snare drum as well. And remember, the snare drum, it belongs to the percussion family, just like the tambourine. Anything that you can shake, or scrape or hit to make sound is in the percussion family. So take a look at our snare drum over here. Thank you. So I believe it went. One more time. Very good. And remember kids, it belongs to the percussion family as well. Stop. Here comes Ace with his upright bass. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. Boom, ba boom, ba boom. And here's Claire with her rattly snare. Rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Here's Star with her electric guitar. Wee was a wah, wee was a wah. Here's Tyrone with his saxophone. Squeeba dee dee, squeeba dee doo. And here's Maureen with her tambourine. Shake a shake crash, shake a shake crash. And here's Dan, beep beep, the taxi man. Going to the show and picking up the band. Climb inside while you still can with Dan. Beep beep, the taxi man. See Ace over here? He's got his upright bass. Mr. Jeffries doesn't have one of those friends. However, this instrument is called a double bass. It's a, it looks like a big old violin actually. And it belongs to the string instrument family too, just like the guitar. Stop, we're here at the Rockin' Joint. This is where they're gonna play their show. Looks like it's gonna be fun. Dan gives a shout. Everybody out. Let's go, let's go. Up on the stage, it's time for the show. What a place, what a scene. There's Claire and Ace and there's Maureen. There's Star and Tyrone, but something's wrong. There's something missing. Stop the song. Can you tell me who's missing on that stage? 
I believe there's somebody very important missing from that stage. What's missing? Star looks around. I know what we need. I know what's missing. Yes, indeed. It's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. It's Dan, beep, beep, the taxi man. See him up on stage there? He's singing away. He's right up front. That is the end, my friends. So real quick, we'll review our type of instrument families. In this book, we had percussion, we had strings, and we had brass, or excuse me, we had woodwinds. The The only instrument family that we did not cover in this book was the brass instruments. And Mr. Jeffries doesn't have any brass instruments. So real quickly, what we'll do is we are going to go over the answers to our crossword and to our draw, draw a line note value sheet. So for our first crossword, and we're gonna start on the we're gonna start on the down column. We're gonna start with the downs. Worth two beats of sound, number one down is a half note. Remember, it's the one that has the open circle. It doesn't look like a closed circle like the TT or the top. Number three. What is that? Number two down, worth one beat of silence. That is called a quarter rest. Remember, the quarter rest looks like that. Okay. Number four down, the numbers in front of the music that tells us how many beats are in a measure. Friends, that is called a time signature. Okay, remember the two fours in front of the music? It tells us the time signature. Number six, separates the measures. And I'm sure you know the answer to that. It separates the measures. It's this thing right here, this line. It's called a bar line. Next on seven down, the two dots in front of the double bar line. Remember, the double bar line is here at the end. The two dots in front of it are called the repeat sign. It tells us to play again. And last, number eight, as far as the down ones go, the space where we add our note values. That's called a measure, right, friends? This space right here, where we put our note values in there, that's called a measure. But I'm sure you all knew that. Very good. All right, we're gonna do the across ones next. These ones that go across. Number three across. Consists of five lines and four spaces. That's called a staff, friends. Remember, that's where our spaces spell face and the lines uh, you can use the saying, every boy deserves, every good boy deserves fudge. And let me see, what number is that? Tells us it's the end of the music, and that's number five across. Friends, that's the double bar line. That's this right here. I'm sure you already knew that, though. Have your, parent, have your parents help you spell any of these if you need to. And you can always use the internet if you don't remember. That's okay. And then 
The last one, number nine, across. Worth one beat of sound. And I'm sure you got it all right, friends. That's called a ta. That's our quarter note right here. Quarter note, it's a ta. All right, and then real quick, let's go over our rhythm worksheet. Okay, that tells us our note values. Right here is our quarter rest, right? And it is worth one beat of silence. The next one, that's a half note. It's one long sound that's worth two beats of silent, or two beats of sound, excuse me. It's worth two beats of sound. Next is our TT. It's two sounds, but it equals one beat. Remember, it's right here. This is our TT. And it's two sounds, but it's worth one beat. Then we've got our quarter note or our ta right here. And it's worth one beat of sound. And then last but not least, you might not remember this one, but some of you, I believe, do. This one here, it looks like a hat. It's called a half rest. And it is up here at the top and it is worth two beats of silence. Now friends, at the bottom, I just simply drew you a rhythm line with the time signature, the double bar line, the repeat sign, a bar line, and our measures in here where we put our note values. If you look here, Quentin created his own. This is T, T, Ta, Ta, Sh, Sh, Ta, repeat. T, T, Ta, Ta, Sh, Sh, Ta. Well, all right, friends. That should cover the two worksheets that I gave for you for last week and for this week. I'm really sorry that some of them, that my friends couldn't join me today, but that's all right. I'll record it and put it on my YouTube channel in case you guys want to take a look at it. Bye, friends. I miss you. I hope you're all safe and healthy.